Why do you think the right is being so suppressed nowadays? I don't know. I, I think it has a lot to do with, again, like going back to children. Because I feel like all these young people, for the most part, are all liberal on the left wing. Yeah, they're all liberal. But I think they were tr- like they were kind of trained to be that way, you know, especially with like teachers and stuff like that. Teachers, for the most part, are liberal. And now yeah, but not every kid was taught was taught that, especially, what? you know. Like the, you know, the not every ki- kid was taught to think like that. Yeah, there but there are states that kids are till today they're being taught on how to think more like a conservative. Not compared to liberals, I think the liberals outweigh the the conservatives in that sense, and also like I think media has a lot to do with that. Yeah, media definitely has a lot to do with that. But I also like, think especially with movies and stuff like that, like when like these celebrities, like especially celebrities living in L.A., having that liberal mindset, they can influence a shit ton of people. Right. Because if you hear like fucking Julia Roberts or whatever, I don't even I don't even know why I said her name, but like whatever like celebrity you look up to, and they start stating their ideologies or whatever, you're gonna like, you're gonna listen because. They're that person. They're yeah, but that, that also goes back to the whole cancel culture. The reason that they say these things and they kind of coincide with the liberals is because they don't want to be canceled. They want to be in the spotlight. They don't want to be put to the side. Right. Yeah. So they're, so they're, they're like puppet. working hand in hand. Yeah, exactly. But you think but you think the left has only like been like that recently since the cancel culture? Or you think it's been like that for a while now? I think with this whole cancel culture, I think within the last like decade or two, it's been worked up a lot higher. And like I said, even like going back to the to the kids being liberals, I think people that don't have money tend to be more liberal than conservative. So kids don't have money growing up. College students don't have money. It's only when they have money that they realize like, why should I pay for the taxes of everybody else when I earned this shit myself, you know, mm-hmm. just because I made more money doesn't mean I should pay more taxes instead of just looking for a, a handout. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, I never thought about that. Yeah, I definitely think it has a lot to do with it. So the economy has a part of it, too. For sure. And now, and especially nowadays, if you're looking at uh, Joe Biden giving free money to all these people, they don't want that to stop. But they don't realize that that's just putting us closer and closer into socialism and then eventually communism. Damn. And then people look at communism like, oh, it's not that fucking bad. Like, it's it's not that bad. It Why sounds do- bad. How do people not think that? Yeah, because people don't think that far into it. They think, oh, yeah, everybody making a salary and stuff like that. But they don't realize all the negative that comes with it. Why are people escaping Cuba? Why are people escaping North Korea? Why are people escaping... All these other countries, like these authoritarian countries, like even Afghanistan now with with the Taliban and stuff like that, and these Middle Eastern countries, they're escaping it for a reason. You know, even Arnold Schwarzenegger that really recently said like, "Oh, screw your freedom." What? <laughs> weren't weren't didn't Isn't... you come from freaking uh, the Iron Curtain, the um, the Soviet Union? You escaped that to come here. Now that you got your freedom, now that you got your money, now you're saying screw your freedom. Like, did you forget where you came from, my guy? Isn't that what America is built on? Freedom? Like, free to do whatever? Free to practice whatever religion? Free to do whatever you want in life? I mean, it is, but people kind of lose sight of that because... They're so damn American. Like, they haven't traveled outside of this country to realize how it's like in other places. You know, like, where we came from Brazil, so we see how it is. Even though it's a a democracy, in other aspects of life, we see how corrupt it is out there. And we see all these things happening. We're like, I don't want to be in that country. I want to stay far away from that type of stuff. Yeah. You know? So people don't realize how good that they have it here in the United States until they leave and go to other countries. And they're like, oh, okay, now I get it. You know, there aren't people clinging on to a damn airplane to come to 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 go to freaking Saudi Arabia or or Afghanistan. There's people doing that from Afghanistan to come to the United States. Why do you think that is? 
Insane. Yeah, shit is crazy, man. Yeah, I don't know. I think capitalism is definitely dying. Uh, Which sucks, because I feel like capitalism is like what makes things fair. Like, yeah. whoever provides the most value gets compensated the most. Yeah. I agree with that. Absolutely. No, I agree. And I mean, don't get it twisted. I don't think There's everyone a- should have a handout or like have a universal income right. just because you exist. Right. And that's the thing, too. Like, I feel like everybody's always so obsessed with looking for a perfect system we have to realize that there's never going to be a perfect system ever there's always there's always going to be some people that like this system and people that don't like the system like with capitalism there's sure there's negative things that happen because of capitalism like for example come what's the main thing in capitalism making a profit so at the end of the day you could say fuck the environment you just care about making that profit. So that's the negative that comes with capitalism. But I way much rather prefer that and us figuring out how we can regulate and control that and still work with the environment as opposed to going into some other type of society. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Plus, like, I think it widens the gap as like between the rich and the poor, too. Yeah, it gives somebody that's completely poor the chance to be rich. Well, yeah, it gives them the chance. That's a good part. I'm saying the bad part, like it widens the gap. Like there's no middle class like anymore, you know, like the the middle class is getting eliminated. Yeah, for sure. For sure. With socialism, that definitely happens. It's funny because all these people that that um, talk about socialism and that are trying to uh, get this country to be socialist. uh, There's recently a YouTuber, a, a streamer that out here in California bought like a $3 million house and he's a socialist. And then I'm thinking like, what? Like, aren't you a socialist? Isn't that what socialism's not about? Like, what What about redistributing your wealth? You know what I mean? But they're like, oh, fuck that. Like, I, I'm going to buy my house. I'm going to get some money. Even uh, Bernie Sanders, he has like three homes. Right. That's not what socialism's about, socialism, about. Right. Right. But that's not what socialism's about. And then people be like, oh, it's their own money. They could do whatever they want with it. Yeah, I agree, because we live in a fucking capitalistic society. If we keep it that way, they can continue to do that. If they become socialist, then only the people up top are going to win. And then the people at the bottom are going to freaking suck for eternity, because we're all going to be stuck in the same damn boat. Even socialism, like, they would probably tax the rich a lot more. For sure. Like, a lot more. And that's... For sure. That's going to make no one want to do business in, in that location. Right. That's not going to make our our economy productive. Yeah, I don't think so. If you're getting taxed, like, half of your money is going to, like, you know, the government. Fuck that. I don't want to do fucking business there. I want to go to wherever I'm getting le- the least amount of tax. Yeah. I don't know, man. I just know that. Recently, in the past couple of years, I've definitely been getting a lot more political, and I yeah, I've fought. noticed you too, though you too, and like there's there's nothing. Yeah, I we actually can do never about it. been. Yeah, that's true. Because like I never really been too involved, but now it's like it's really affecting our lives. Mm-hmm. Of course, bro. So I have to like I have to know what's up. I have to know like what is the true information or like the true way of thinking because a lot of shit that's happening i kind of disagree with and i'm trying to figure out like what can we do to change that exactly or like is there other people that think like me you know and there are there are a lot of people that think just like you and that's the thing is like being able to find that community and going against the narrative that other people are pushing on us you know because if you just stay quiet about this stuff then you're al- you're slowly allowing it to happen but when you realize that there's more people that think like you that's going to help motivate you to push forward and be like nah i'm not going to allow this to happen i'm going to actually go and vote even though you might not necessarily believe in that system and stuff like that it's something that you can do as opposed to just sitting there and not doing anything yeah, I just hate how, like, these big tech companies are, like, just one-sided companies as well. Like, they're not letting people express themselves. No, they're not. They're not considering, like, the opposite mentality, mis- misinformation. 
Well, it, it's kind of like the same thing with like um, uh, recently they had uh, like Nancy Pelosi, which is like I believe the third richest person in Congress, something something along those lines, and she's always pushing a certain uh, narrative, but at the same time, she's she's in cahoots with all these companies like Google. Like she she had a meeting with um, the owner of Google. Do you really think that her and the owner, the CEO of Google, aren't going to talk about certain inside um, information, insider information that's going to help her because she has so many fucking stocks in Google. Do you honestly think they're not going to talk about certain things like that? Like he's going to be like, oh, so we're thinking about uh, dropping this new thing. And do you think Nancy Pelosi is going to be like, no, stop. You can't tell me this stuff because I own your stocks. Hell no. She's all ears for that shit. Of course, if it's benefiting her. And then people are just dumb and oblivious to it they're like oh, whatever just like the whole thing with uh, the governor here in in california governor newsom when he was mandating all these uh, uh masks that everybody had to wear masks and all these restaurants were closed nobody could dine indoors meanwhile this guy is sitting him and his friends inside of a french restaurant privately eating with no masks on and then same thing with schools he closed all the schools yet his kids are getting private education so it's like Bro, like, you people don't realize that these laws aren't made for them. They're the ones making the laws to implement on you. Yeah. That's so unfair. That makes me want to hate a person. Right. Like, even Obama. He just had a fucking birthday party with, like, 700 people. I'm like... (laughs) Yeah, I saw some videos. No one gave a fuck. Right. And then nobody wants to talk shit about Obama. Yeah, exactly. No one. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why are you doing it? Feels, imagine if it Trump feels, would have done that. Oh, my God. They would have fucking... They would have lit him up on fire. That's what I'm saying, man. And, like, people don't realize these things. Like, it, And it's mostly a lot, of, a lot of the voices that are being heard nowadays are these college kids and these young kids because they're on social media. And, again, they're mostly liberal because they don't have money. Or they just have a certain mindset that are being pushed by their professors or whatever the case may be. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, man. Oh, fuck, dude. I ha- I honestly don't know what's Ameri- like, what America is going to look like within five years. I'm yeah. very curious. Or even ten years. Like, what is America going to look like? I don't know. What do you think I- it's going to look like? I don't know, but I know that China is right behind us looking over our shoulders right here like, what's up? Because another mm-hmm. thing that happens is we're so concentrated on battling each other. Yeah. China doesn't have to worry about that shit. They're fucking communists. They yeah. just concentrate yeah. all their resources and they say, let's fuck America up. Mm-hmm. While we're over here dealing with each other. We're out here shooting our damn neighbors. Dominating the world. Exactly, bro. And that's the thing. It's like we can't come into agreement with anything nowadays, whether it's vaccines, masks, Black Lives Matter. Which makes me think, like, is this shit being done on purpose? I personally believe it is. I think it's pushed by certain narratives, even like lobbyists from China. Like, why? If China is trying to destroy the United States, why wouldn't they want to do that? Why wouldn't they spend money and invest into these things to make sure that this happens? Yeah. Because, bro, like, there's so, like, as far as, like, the media, there's, like, polar opposites right now, bro. Like, or, like, just the mentality between people right now. Like, it's either you're fully right or fully left, bro. Yeah. It's kind of it's very hard to be in the middle nowadays. Yeah. Because of like the laws that is being implemented into our system and you know like all that shit affects us, man. And I feel like it's sort of being done on purpose to divide us. Bro, like even me and my family like my the mentality that my family has versus me are complete opposites, bro. Right? And that's like family, bro. 
family is getting divided. Yeah. So what makes you think you're not going to like, what makes you think you're going to give a fuck about your fucking neighbor or a stranger that you meet on like, you know, at the grocery store? Exactly, bro. It's exactly what it is. But I mean, hey, conquer and divide, right? That's how you conquer everything. You just got to keep dividing people. Or divide and conquer, not conquer and divide. Divide and conquer. So where would you go? I always thought of like being going to Australia if, if like shit gets bad here. But I feel like Australia is even worse now. <laughs> I know. Me too. I Trust me. I thought the same thing. I was like, yo, Australia sounds dope. But or nah. New Zealand was an, another place that I thought of. And that's also like bad. Yeah. I honestly don't know, bro. Like, honestly, it's looking In like. Canada, that was a that was a third. And that's that's even like worse. Honestly, I'd probably end up going back to Brazil. Yeah, but even then, bro, living in Brazil sucks even as a rich person, bro. Yeah. You're spending so much money on just taxes. Like, they tax you for everything, bro. For sure. For sure. But, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know where I would live. I don't want to live anywhere else. I want this country to succeed. I want the United States yeah, to fucking... but what if it doesn't? What if it just turns into a, a fucking hellhole because China took over? I don't know, bro. I don't know. What if it turns into a communist? I'd rather concentrate that same energy and try to keep it from turning into that as opposed to thinking about something that hasn't happened yet, honestly. But I feel you. Like, it could fucking happen. Yeah, but you got to prepare for the future, bro. You got to prepare for all case scenarios. I mean, sure, sure. But if it gets to that point, I think, I don't know. I don't know where I would move. I have no idea. Because, I mean, like we just said, like, I always thought Australia, not going to happen anymore. I never thought of New Zealand, but that sounds dope, too. Not going to happen anymore. Canada, because they speak English, definitely not happening. Plus, it's cold, for sure, ever not happening. <laughs> I mean, it would be a country like Brazil. Mexico. Uh, Mex- right, Mexico. Um, China. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I hope it yeah. never gets to that point where I don't, I don't. I have to move out of this country. Yeah, but I am worrying about it. I am worrying about the country. Like that, it does cross my mind that it could turn into a fucking hellhole. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the direction that we're heading. If we, like I said, that's why it's important for us to say things and and be vocal about these things. Because if we don't, then. We're just part of the problem as well. My question is, what are the rich people doing? Where are they going to go? Where are they going to take their private jets? I don't know. That's a good question to ask a rich person, though. Like, hey, if you couldn't live in the United States, where would you live and why? 